Hi, I'm Liz, and we're going to troubleshoot and updates are underway. Please keep your computer on problem. All right, first thing as you can see I've done is hit power and I've started tapping on the escape key. I'm doing this to access HP's built-in diagnostic software. We're going to test for a hardware problem. As you can see, it's accessing that, that diagnostic right now. If you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more great content. So first thing we're going to do now that we're in the startup menu, we're going to use the arrow keys or for some computers, uh, the uh, you can use your mouse. Okay, now I'm gonna hit system diagnostics. F2 is the hotkey for this. And then it's gonna be a language screen. screen. I'm gonna hit English sometimes. Uh, some versions you won't have this screen. It will just automatically select English, so keep that in mind. Next, I'm going to do symptom tests. Uh, you could also um, some, do system tests also, but I think specifically for this one, symptom test fits it the best. It will help with any sort of hard disk issue or RAM problem. So those are the two main things we're looking for right now, uh, boot loop, hard disk problems, RAM problems. And then once you've established you are not having those, then you go on to check for software issues. That's the diagnostic method that is used for this particular thing. Check for the big things and then move on to the smaller possibilities. So next thing we're going to do is, as you can see, all system passed. So in this scenario, we move on to diagnosing the operating system. If you had your memory fail, then go down into uh, down below. We show you how to change and upgrade your memory in the video below this. Or if your hard drive or solid state drive failed, then down below we have a video on how to replace and install Windows 11. So that would be your next step if one of those two things failed. If it didn't, then moving on to the next diagnostic step, which would be checking your operating system. So in my case, everything passed. So the next step would be going uh, and checking your operating system. Are you sure you'd like to exit? Yes, I would. Now, moving right along, once this go, goes ahead and exits, now demonstrating it on my other computer, I hit power and immediately start holding down escape button or tapping on it. So back at the boot menu, I select F11 system recovery, F11 on your keyboard, and it will bring you to this fancy screen. From here, you can use either your mouse or your arrow keys to select troubleshoot. Then on the next page, reset this PC. Now you have two options. Keep my files does not work as well, um, but you will keep all your files, but remove everything is the absolute best way to find, fix an issue like this. You can try keep my files first, but I'm going to go with remove everything, but although I will lose all my data. Local reinstall is the next thing I'm going to do. You can do da download from the cloud, but it's a little bit uh, trickier and it depends on whether or not you have a uh, WLAN set up with your computer. So we're going to do the simpler method, reset locally, uh, and then once again, remove my files or uh, just remove my files or fully clean the drive, fully clean the drive. It's going to delete everything. This is, you can once again try the soft reset option and keep your files on the first one. But as I said, it doesn't work as well. So you can fully reset. I'm going to hit the reset button. Um, but that's how you go ahead and reset your computer. If for any reason this doesn't work, uh, the next step in the troubleshooting method would be to reinstall the operating system because it could be that your system's too corrupt. You can use that with a USB. Uh, we have a video on that down below how to reinstall Windows. So if the reset errors out, doesn't complete, the next step would try to do a complete fresh install of Windows. We show you how in the video down below. Anyway, if this video was in any way helpful, please like and share.